The recent collapses of Silicon Valley and signature banks have financial leaders calling for calm too, with reassurances that people with money in the bank have deposits up to $250,000 insured, and that is through the entity which we know as the FDIC. But this latest message does bring up a common misconception about the differences between banks and credit unions, and that is there's no FDIC protections for credit union money. But while the FDIC does not insure credit union money, there is protection for this money, and it's through the National Credit Union Administration. So that coverage is at least $250,000 per depositor. And on that note, let's go ahead and take a look at some other differences we are seeing between credit unions and banks. So banks are for profit, this is the main difference, while credit unions are not for profit. So they're go going to be more like cooperatives among members. And so with that main difference, we see usually banks have more fees at higher rates, but since credit unions are usually built around certain jobs or industries or a certain community or certain faiths, they might have tighter membership requirements, eligibility. They might also have fewer bank uh, branches or ATMs.